Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, um, with a hot sauce, it's actually better to do a, um, a 1 in 10 dilution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Nando's um, hot sauce, and what I'm going to do is I will take some of their um, hot sauce, and I'll make a little drop of it, which I have done there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute it. So one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I've got it diluted. So I'll do that. So I'll do this for about ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, now I'll take the sensor. So you'll often see um, me in these videos do a one in four dilution, but capsaicin, which is the reason why chili sauce is so hot, or always hot, um, is not very soluble. So what I'm actually gonna do is I put a drop on the sensor. Um, so you have, to use a, you have to use a higher dilution. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go run measurement. I'll choose the source. Note, I've done a one in nine dilution. So I'll do the start of this. All right, now it's tracking across. So if I summarize, we've taken the um, hot sauce with about, um, from Nando's. We took a little sample of it. We diluted it, um, so that we took one drop and diluted it with nine drops. That's because capsaicin is not very soluble. So we need quite a high, um, amount of like say buffer to absorb all the capsaicin or dissolve all the capsaicin and then we put a little drop onto the tip of the sensor and then we've told the bluetooth um, or the app on the phone to connect with the um with the meter and we're running it so this is come to the end now and the result is 2552 scoville heat units all right perfect thanks very much